We're going to go over the DD15 versus the Cummins ISX. Which one is best? We'll let you know. Make sure to subscribe to us. Turn on that notification bell so you know next time we release another video. If you have any questions or concerns about your truck, make sure to leave us a comment below and we'll be more than happy to help. Let's get right into this. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Since there's so much to cover in these platforms, I like to break it down in three categories. We're going to talk about initial cost, maintenance, and lastly, durability. So we're going to start with initial cost, and let's get right into that now. Okay, so what is the initial cost in purchasing a truck with a DD15 in it compared to buying a truck with a Cummins ISX? So generally speaking, you're going to be paying more for the truck that has the Cummins ISX in it. Now, is it worth it? Uh, let's stack up the specs. Okay, they both are 15 liter. One is actually a 14.8 liter, which is the DD15, and the Cummins is actually a 15 liter. The DD15 advertises 400 to 500 horsepower with 1,750, 1750 foot pounds of torque. The Cummins advertises 400 to 500 horsepower with 1,850 foot pounds of torque. Okay, they both are running a high pressure fuel system. They both have after treatment systems, which include a DPF filter, a SCR system, and they both are using DEF. The Cummins has a single overhead cam design compared to the Detroit that has a dual overhead cam design. Now, one thing I do not like about the Cummins is that it has a VGT style turbo. I've had issues with these turbos in the past where the actual turbo is getting stuck and your actuator acts up and you're having to replace the turbo. Now Detroit has designed the tur their turbo with an actuator but it's actually not physically built onto the turbo. It's separate from the turbo which helps with a little bit of longe longevity. Okay, so compared to those you are going to be spending more money on the Cummins when it comes to the initial cost and you're also going to be spending more on parts when it is time for repairs. Detroit has a uh, of course, a large market. They've taken over a lot of the, uh, the market when it comes to on-highway trucks. So they have a better pricing point when it comes to repairs. Um, so the next thing we're going to go over is going to be maintenance. So let's get right into that. Okay, so the next item we're going to talk about is maintenance. Now, side by side, maintenance is going to be pretty much the same on these trucks. Uh, Detroit's advertising about 35,000 miles interval oil change intervals. Cummins is advertising 45,000 intervals. And these, this is considered severe duty. If you're idling a lot, that is considered severe duty. If you're sitting in your truck and you're sleeping in your truck a lot, um, that's considered severe duty. Now, 35 to 40K, I feel like it's a little high. I would, wouldn't go over 30K uh, for your oil change intervals without actually doing oil samples at your 30K to see what your viscosity looks like. Now, Detroit has advertised that their engine will last 1.2 million miles. Now, this all depends on maintenance. A lot of times when these trucks are bought, they're sitting on the lot, they're probably coming from a fleet that probably didn't do their maintenance. So at 400K, they're turning these trucks in. And of course, you're getting a good deal on a truck that probably didn't have any maintenance on it. So just make sure to keep an eye on, on where this truck's coming from, the type of maintenance that's been on it, uh, just to get a better idea of the health of the engine. Okay. Uh, another thing I'd like to mention on the after treatment system is Cummins actually come out with a new design for this particular after treatment system. Now, they're stating that the, the, that the maintenance intervals are going to be less, but honestly, only time will tell. Uh, both engines are considered to be uh, needing maintenance after 400,000 miles on their after treatment systems. This is pulling the filter and it getting it clean. Uh, maintenance is a very big, very big issue on these trucks. If you want to hit that over a million a mile mark, if you want to get good fuel mileage, if you don't want to have issues with your after treatment system, keeping up with maintenance is key. So between the two, 
which ones are going to give you less maintenance? Neither one are, okay? It's good to keep your maintenance schedule up no matter what engine you're in. Okay, so the last topic I'd like to cover is durability. Which one is going to be more durable, the DD15 or the Cummins ISX? Usually, the Cummins ISX is going to be more durable, hence the reason why you're paying more for the truck. Okay, I have seen some issues happen with the uh, Cummins ISX that shouldn't be happening. For example, we've had failed fuel pumps at 500K. Now that shouldn't be happening, but it happens. With the DD15, we see low oil pressures after five, 500K. Now that's an easy fix compared to the Cummins uh, fuel pump repair. Uh, but still, both of these trucks are gonna have durable engines, all depending on your maintenance, okay? With, for the Cummins, you're going to be paying more for parts compared to the DD15. Uh, everybody knows, of course, Cummins parts are a lot higher. Now, most of the time when you make it in the shop, it's going to be over your after treatment system before your engine. Um, that's, just, that's just plain and simple. Both of these trucks are having after treatment systems, so you're, there's no really avoiding it. The only thing that I can recommend for you is that you keep up with your maintenance. Have a maintenance schedule. Don't wait until something breaks down to come into the shop. Come in, do your preventive maintenance. Make sure you're using the right shop that have experience with both engines. Um, and you should be good. So I hope you guys learned something. I hope this uh, helped you decide whether you want to get a DD15 or a Cummins ISX. Uh, if it did, make sure to subscribe to us. And also hit that notification bell so you know next time you release an, we release another video. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns about your truck, please leave us a comment below. We'll be more than happy to help. So until next time, be safe.